Well, an event was held at the New Orleans Museum of Art earlier today to denounce hate crimes toward Asian Americans and how we as a community can support them in fighting against these sort of crimes. Our reporter Shay O'Connor, she joins us live from City Park with the latest on that tonight. Shay? Share with us right now that peaceful demonstration took place a little earlier right here at Noma. Lots of people came out to support the cause. Meanwhile, lots of people that I've spoken with, they tell me that they're constantly living in fear that they might become the next victim of this type of violence. They put their hands on me. They call me racial slurs. I just feel scared now. Vincent Hung is a seventh grader. Since the pandemic started, he says he's experienced a lot of bullying by other kids. Recently, his foot even broken at school. Sunday, he was among many who spoke out against anti-Asian hate. We are asking for all Americans to stand. I just want to speak up. We cannot allow the pain of our people to grow ignored. 16-year-old Abigail, who recently started the Asian Youth for Civic Engagement organization to encourage other young people to also have their voices heard. It's alarming because I feel like people are going to say, oh, the pandemic will end, but racism won't. Ever since, like, the pandemic started, I just walking down the street, I have more people say things to me and even like younger kids. Um, and it's a very visible, drastic increase. And as someone whose ancestry is Chinese, we have a greater concern. Recent studies show anti-Asian hate crimes increased by 150% in 2020, mostly in cities like New York and Los Angeles. And just weeks ago, a deadly mass shooting at three spas in Atlanta. Leaders here also point out people are falsely placing blame on Asian Americans for COVID-19. We felt uh, there were waves of uh, anti-Asian hatred. We felt as Asians in New Orleans, we need to uh, voice our concern including those who found their voice at the rally. Hung had a message for those who encourage anti-Asian hate. Stop like messing with our like Asians, especially the elders and the young ones that like they just can't fight back. Now, leaders from today say that they're hoping to see some action from legislators and policymakers in stopping these types of hate crimes. They're also asking for the support of the New Orleans community. For now, just reporting live from City Park, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.